This is a late 2008 MacBook Pro. We're just gonna be replacing the old hard drive with the new solid state hard drive, just to make it faster and give it some new life. First started by removing the back plate from the hard drive. And I also removed the other cover to replace the optic drive with a, the old hard drive. I noticed that the, hard, the battery was having difficulty coming out and I did not realize that there is a switch that needs to be turned on to remove the battery. So if you encounter that, save yourself the time and the hassle and just leave that switch on or put the plate back on and turn the switch back on, which is the bottom left area, and the battery will come right out. I felt stupid not doing that. And there it's out. Until it was removed, we went ahead and started removing the screws that hold in the hard drive and then disconnected the SATA cable, or the SATA cable. Uh, be careful with this, it can damage it if you tear it off really quick. It's not designed to be tinkered with very frequently. Then I removed the Torx T6 sized screws on the sides and installed them into the new solid state hard drive to mount it into the bay for the hard drive. See here I'm putting the SATA cable back onto the new solid state hard drive and then pushing it into the dock for it, with a little bay for it. Next we're moving on to the more harder part of the, more difficult part of the process is switching out the optical drive with a hard drive holder. What I found right away is I actually forgot to put the tab on the old on the new solid state hard drive, so I swapped that over really quick. And then back to the, the bay. I got this one for about $8 on Amazon. Did some research to figure out how it exactly is supposed to be connected and whatnot. Found there are two connect cables that connect, and they're very delicate, so I didn't want to damage them. And initially you want to re disconnect both of them before removing the disk drive. So there's the display cable, which is the most delicate, which I'm removing now. I've read horror stories on some forums of people damaging their display cables, which destroys your computer. And once I've disconnected all the cables, I went ahead and started to remove the drive after the screws were unscrewed. Found there was some adhesive on the, on the cable, so I quickly and just ran that card under there. Then took the adapter from the old disk drive, optical drive, and plugged it into the new hard drive substitute. Then mounted the screw mounts for the right side for the optical drive onto the uh, new one. Then I found that there was actually an issue with this this bay that being so cheap. The bottom part was there was a gap, but there wasn't any piece that came with it, so I made a roll of tape, PVC tape, and squished it in there. Not the most practical thing, if it catches on fire in the future, I'm to blame, but that, that seemed to hold it in place pretty well. Then I went ahead and put the screws back in. I used kind of a light to figure out why one wasn't going in, and then I focused on the optical plug, which took quite a while. Let's cut that to plug back in, which was pretty difficult. Put the covers back up, cover back on, battery back in. I went ahead and tried to power it on. Now, since there was nothing on, no operating system on the old hard drive, I had to make a bootable USB drive, and then boot it from the USB drive with Yosemite 10.10 .10 on it. Once I got that booted, went ahead and for formatted the new hard drive, the solid state drive, and then erased the old hard drive formatted as Mac Journal, both of them, and then plugged it in to start installing uh, Yosemite. Just took a little bit of time and some patience, but once it installed, it booted right up. It takes about 30 seconds to turn on now as opposed to two minutes. And I'm going to quickly browse through, the, speed through this, and opening a couple programs like Microsoft Word and Chrome are really quick. You can see here when I open them up. And there you have it, upgraded MacBook Pro 2008.